Try to find a reason to laugh every time. And, and these opportunities present themselves in the weirdest ways. You just have to make the most of each opportunity. Like let's say you get a text message from someone who thought you were somebody else and you decide to engage. This happened to me not too long ago when somebody texted me who thought I was somebody else and I thought I would reply. And I'd love to take you guys through a quick text conversation I had with this stranger. Okay, a text message comes in from a number I don't know and it simply says, is it okay if I wear khakis tomorrow? <laughs> khakis, America's pant. <laughs> Seems like a yes or no question. Wrong. When you're messing with people, the devil's in the details. You need to speak with confidence about misinformation. So I reply, jeans will be fine as long as they're not low rise. <laughs> and they say, you sure? Nobody wears them in the office, but hey, you are the boss. <laughs> That's me in the scenario, I'm the boss. I said, you got it, where are you parking? They said, where I normally do, up by the university. Now, I need to know where I work. So I say, out of curiosity, what do you call the university? They say, BU, what else would I call it? I write back, some people call it Boston University, and that really annoys me, ha ha. <laughs> to which they reply, me too, LOL, boom, we're in Boston, welcome to Boston, everyone. <laughs> Grab a jacket, it might be chilly, I don't know, I'm not there. But I'm the boss, so I should start doing some boss shit. So I say, any way you could get in about a half hour early tomorrow? <laughs> oh, don't, oh, this is a grown adult texting the wrong number. Chickadee, check your digits before you wreck yourself. <laughs> they say, sure, no problem. So I open Google Maps and I search for bakeries near Boston University. <laughs> and I say, great, do me a solid. Go to Brugger's Bagels and grab two dozen for the team. Keep the receipt, I'll reimburse you. Will do, I love that place. <laughs> but I'm having fun, so much fun, but conversation's over, period, the end. But I want back in. <laughs> I want to restart this train. So I gotta say something, right? I gotta say anything. Take a shot in the dark, throw a Hail Mary, if you will. So I just say, how's your dog? <laughs> to which they respond, much better, thanks for asking. <laughs> Bingo was his name, oh y'all. <laughs> He's super attached to me now though, after the surgery, to which I reply, oh, that's super sweet. Why don't you bring him to the office tomorrow? <laughs> I'd love to see you. <laughs> Are you sure that would be so great? Absolutely, see you in the AM. And now, we wait. <laughs> Think about what has happened here, friends. Think about the multiverse of madness I just created in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> there was someone who is now waking up one half hour early, picking out their finest denim. <laughs> Going to pick up two dozen uninvited bagels that they're gonna be out of pocket on, they ain't getting that scuttle back. <laughs> then they're gonna walk into their place of employment with two dozen baked goods under one arm and a chihuahua <laughs> in a full body cast <laughs> named Chico de Gallo. <laughs> I'm here. I did that. I can't sleep, I can't sleep, Are you kidding me? I'm so excited, I got Christmas morning syndrome. <laughs> you know it, you're trying to fall asleep, you're laying there looking at the lights. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock rock. <laughs> what happens? All dumb thoughts fly into your mind. All stupid thoughts flood your mind. You can't sleep, they wake you up, right? I'm laying there trying to sleep. <sighs> How is it that vampire's hair always looks so good if they can't see their own reflection? <sighs> Why don't we call them mouth jobs? 
And if we did, we should rename the nose job because that doesn't track. <laughs> I've never seen a baby pigeon. <laughs> and neither of any of you fuckers. Let's talk about that for a minute. Why? How? Has anyone seen a pigeon this big? Never. Why? Are they being born full size, popping out of large size to eggs like giraffe? Like, ah, ah, ah. I don't know. <laughs> How surprised was the first guy who ever threw a boomerang? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Speaking of surprises, how surprised was the first woman who ever gave birth to a child? <laughs> Unga Bajunga is sitting in her cave. <laughs> Miss Bajunga is wondering why she gained so much pounds over the past nine months. Maybe too much brontosaurus beef? The sun rises, she hits the fields to get her gather on and gets a weird rumble in her tum-tum. Ooh. Girl. She squats down to push out what she thinks is a stubborn turd. <laughs> a human baby has fallen out of her. It's screaming, she's bleeding. She goes to run away. It's attached to her, by the way. So what the fuck is she gonna do? Nine o two a.m. New text message comes in. Simply says, "Who the fuck is this?" 